Hey ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with more discrete probability distributions featuring Wanda. This time we are going to find the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. Alright, so what we know is that Wanda is looking for the bones that she buried in my backyard over the past year. And we determine that if she digs around long enough, she will either find 0, 1, 3, 5, or 6 bones. So based on this discrete probability distribution, we're going to help her find the standard deviation. So in an earlier video, we determined that the mean of this distri probability distribution was 3, which we found by taking the sum of x times the probability of x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply a standard deviation formula by taking x, which is the outcomes, minus the mean, which is this value here, squared. And since we don't have the number of times that she's going to search for bones up here, what we're going to do instead is we're going to weight it by the probability of each outcome. So where we would normally find a standard deviation, by taking x minus mu squared and then divide it by the number of observations. In this case, we're going to replace that with this probability of the outcome. So um, the math isn't too hard, but you've got to keep track of where you are in the process. So let's see how this goes. So what I've done is I have taken the outcomes, x, and the probabilities of x, and I'm going to subtract each value or each outcome from the mean. And that's going to give me this first step of x minus mu. Once we get there, we're going to step over here and do x minus mu squared. Then we're going to take that and we're going to go back and find the probability associated with the value of x, multiply it together, and we get to the end, we're going to sum it all up, take the square root of it, and we will have the standard deviation. So what I've done is I have now taken the x minus the mean. So I took x of 0 minus the mean of 3, the x of 1, x of 3, 5 and 6 because remember x is our outcomes which is the number of bones that Wanda will find and I have then taken in this step and I have squared them so I took 0 minus 3 gave me negative 3 negative 3 squared was 9 minus 2 squared gave me 4 of course the 0 was 0 4 and 9. Remember, we take this intermediary step right, in order to remove the negative values. And so once I get these x minus the means, I'm going to go back and pick up these probabilities associated with the outcomes. And I'm going to finish this last step by saying x minus the mean squared times the probability of x to give me this next step here. All right, so through the modern miracle of a computer, I have now taken my value of x, my outcome, minus the mean. I've squared it, and I have then gone back here and picked up these probabilities, multiplied this x minus mu squared minus the probability to give me these values here. We know that the formula for the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution says take x minus the mean, square it, multiply it by the probability of x, and then sum it all together, take the square root of it. So I simply took these values from this last column brought them down here and added them all together. Once I added them together, 
I got 3.59. And we know that before we take that square root, we know that 3.59 is actually the variance of this distribution. But what I wanted was the standard deviation. So I know that the standard deviation of the discrete probability distribution for the number of bones that Wanda will find digging my backyard up is 1.8947, which you could round to 1.895. You could round to 1.9, however, your rounding rolls. So um, fundamentally, it works very similar to a traditional distribution, except in this case, we, ref we replace, excuse me, we replace the n that we used to know with this probability of x, and we are able to come up with the mean and standard deviation for Wanda's bone digging adventure. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you soon.